Hello friends, my name is Claire and welcome to literally the best weekend that has ever occurred to me. I went to go visit friends this weekend and it's everything that I've literally always wanted for myself so I was really happy. Um, so I left on Thursday and this is my little driving fit because I couldn't wear what I was actually wearing um, out to the gas station. Um, so Charlotte and I went to go see a show at the Liberty Hotel. My friend Ayana was walking and I was planning on sleeping over at Charlotte's anyways because the next morning we were headed to Pennsylvania and so I was like, hey, would you like to go see this? And Charlotte said yes, which is great and honestly not very surprising because we both adore fashion. And so we went to go see Ayana, got these very expensive drinks and, um, it was great. This hotel used to be a prison, which is why there's bars everywhere. And Charlotte was at a deer and got content for me, which is awesome. And that's Ayana. She did so good. I loved all of her looks. Um, her walk is so sassy and so powerful. And I adored it. And oop, there is Drunk Claire because I was supposed to only have one espresso martini and then metabolize it for three hours. But there were some men who worked at MIT who came up to us and they were like, can we buy you drinks? And I said, yes, I'll have an espresso martini and whatever my friend would like. And then we got way too drunk. Well, actually, that's a lie. Charlotte was fine and drove my car home. I was not okay. Um, and you can see me just not really there, but it was so fun. Would I do it again? Yes, in a heartbeat. It was so much fun. And yeah, um, Drunk Claire was very excited about it. So Charlotte also got a pomelo because there were no pomegranates, and I was obsessed with how big it was. There's Mr. Blossom. He's such a dear. And we had breakfast, and then we had a little drive down the Pennsylvania to go see my friend Hannah. And so I met Hannah on Instagram a couple months ago, maybe during the summer, and her vibe very much reminded me of my friend Maggie. And so I DM'd her. Well, she followed me, and then I followed her, and then I DM'd her. And then I was like, give me your number, please, because I want you to meet my friend Maggie. And then from there, we had a little meetup in Maryland with Charlotte, Maggie, and I. And on the way back up north, we met up with Hannah. And so this is only my second time meeting Hannah. And I just find it really cool, all the people that I get to meet on the internet. Anyways, and so we stayed at Hannah's house. We had breakfast. And I was really excited about this because it's basically all of my internet friends, plus my friend Caitlin, who I've known since I was 10. And the vibes this weekend were amazing. We went to an antique estate sale I think it is basically it's just all of these items that are for sale and people bid on them and we didn't get anything but I adored it and I thought this was so Lana Del Rey and it was so much fun and this is us getting ready we did a cute little shoe in the bathroom and I was really excited about it because I love having aesthetic places to shoe and Hannah's family were literally the kindest people I've ever met in my entire life. I want to be Hannah's mom so bad. Hannah's mom's aesthetic is so Ralph Lauren and it is everything I want to be and everything that I adore and I'm so excited and I was really excited about this shoot. This is Caitlin and yeah it was just oh, I was so excited about it obviously because I'm dancing. Um, I love like the retro like old Hollywood vibes. I've really found my aesthetic in 2022 and it's so nice to finally feel really comfortable with myself not only in my art but also with all of my friends and this is why like a huge reason why I was so excited about this weekend is because I was just surrounded by so many people that I love, admire, and adore and the female love and support and energy was just so strong this weekend and I cannot stress enough how excited I was to be part of it. So this look was very Lana Del Rey, very retro, and we had fake cigarettes. So these are not real, they're fake cigarettes, and Charlotte is borrowing my dress, and it was very French, and I adored it because I just think that this looks amazing, and I love when Charlotte plays around with the whole femme fatale aesthetic because I feel like she normally goes for more cottage core, and I just think it's really fun when people explore um, beyond beyond their original aesthetic, I guess. Um, and then Hannah also had this old phone, and I thought it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And this was very aesthetic, and I was very pleased about it. And then I ripped some roses, um, like a little a little monster. <laughs> um, but we wanted the rose petals in the bathtub, which you'll see in a sec, and I just think it turned out amazing, and I was really, really excited about this look. And especially this expression right here. I love doing like the forlorn, like scorned lover 
vibes. I don't know why. It just fits so well. And then later on in the afternoon, we went to go get, I forget what they're called. Um, Wawa. We went to go get Wawa. Wawas? I don't actually know. I'm not from here. But apparently it's a really big thing and it was a big deal and I was very excited about it. 10 out of 10 for sandwiches. And then we went to go shoot at Hannah's family's farm. They're fixing up into a and b and I just think that is the coolest thing ever. Look at how gorgeous it is. I am so jealous. I want to live here. I want to be like a little like maybe bridge troll or maybe like attic ghost or like ghost of like the lake who just haunts around and does ghostly things anyways but this house is literally the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and it I I was so happy just to be there like I could be stuck in a corner and I would be having the time of my life because the vibes are immaculate and we had a little picnic lunch um inside where I think this was gonna be like it's connected to the front desk, so maybe like a little like lounge living room area, and I adored the fireplace. It was huge and gorgeous, and then Hannah gave us a little tour, which was awesome because I love houses so much. I love architecture. I am a huge HGTV girly, and so being able to see all the rooms, especially while they're renovating, is just so cool because I know that when we come back, everything's going to be p- so put together. And it's going to be amazing because we got to see like all the steps from almost ground zero. And I just think that that's awesome. Look at this bathroom. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I think this bathroom in particular. Oh, yes, it is that one because the drain is on the floor. That bathroom is one where the shower is kind of like the whole bathroom. And I think it's like French inspired. Anyways, and so each room is a little bit different. And this is the kitchen, which I adored because the cabinets are green, even though they're not really showing up as green right now. They look a little bit more blue on camera, but oh my god, they're so amazing, and they have a gold detail, and I was dying because I'm a gold girly, not a silver girly, and there's a swing on a tree. This is like literally my childhood dream. Like, I adore this place with my entire soul, and I was freaking out the entire time, and there's a library. Are you kidding me? They have a library, and there's going to be books, Oh my gosh, and look at the view outside of the window. I had originally planned to put music over this part because I thought that the tour is going to be really annoying with my voice, and when I go back and edit, it might be, but oh my gosh, I love all of this stuff. And look, it's green. Oh my god, it looks so good. Yep, me in the mirror is literally me the entire time, and also me reminiscing about how cool I think that this place is. Okay, This room we ended up shooting with on another day, and I adored the sunlight streaming in. I think it looks amazing. And the tile in the bathroom, oh my goodness. So this is the barn, and they're going to have a, this is like the event space, so like for weddings and such, and I think it's going to be amazing, because imagine a lovely barn wedding here when everything's done and fixed up. I think this was the wow factor. Ooh, wow factor. Um, (laughs) And so we went back after the tour and we took some photos in what I think will be like the breakfast area. This was Addie's concept. And so um, we did like a little Valentine's Day look and I was really excited about it. I was very retro Lana Del Rey and Addie also let me borrow one of her pieces of clothing. This is Charlotte fixing Hannah's bow and I adored Hannah's look because I thought she looked so cute. And this is our little setup. This is me trying to drink something aesthetically and just failing because I was so afraid it was going to like go everywhere. And then we did a Snow White look. This is Caitlin and I's idea that we've had for like a year. And I was really excited about it because I just kept on falling aesthetically and it was really dramatic. And I bought these white socks to ruin, which I loved because they got so dirty. And even though I feel like it's kind of gross, it was such a vibe and I'm honestly so excited about it. And then Addie was like, hey, can I please put flowers in your hair? And I was like, like, yes, please. I adore flowers and I adore being like pampered. So please do whatever you would like. And then we finished shooting and we went back to Hannah's and it, I love how dark it gets on the East Coast. You can see all the lights and all the stars and it's so magical. And we went back and had dinner and there was a fire and I cannot stress enough how much I adore fireplaces. They are so freaking beautiful and there's Charlotte being all cute. We had Chipotle and it was delicious. And then 
Caitlin let me go through the photos and star them to help her whittle down which ones she would like to edit, and I was dying the entire time because, oh my goodness, they're so gorgeous, and I am... I was just so happy to be here and be part of it, and I loved this one. Oh, it was so femme fatale, and oh my goodness, Charlotte did such a good job. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Oh, and I love the eyes. The eyeball was nice. It's so sassy. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it was so pretty. And then this is me basically the rest of the time when I am not modeling. And so the next morning, we went to New York City, and I was very excited because I showed the girls Barbie Life in the Dream House, and I'm making them obsessed with me. And I also learned how to use a Keurig this weekend, and so yay, new skill acquired. Hannah and I made breakfast potatoes, and then she dressed me, and we took the train and drove us there, which was really, really nice. And look at all those beans. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Oh, they're so adorable. And then this is Hannah helping me get stuff for my vlog and me not being a normal person as usual. And... Charlotte is letting me convert her into a Lana Del Rey girly, and so I have been slowly showing her all of the best songs, which is such a vibe. Addie found a cute little cafe for us to eat at, and then we went to the New York Public Library, and Hannah and I were trying to figure out this tie, and we could not figure out how to tie it, so then we just ended up asking this man who was visiting if he wouldn't mind tying it, and he did, which was so adorable. It was so sweet of him, and then Charlotte got a little behind the scenes for me, which I really appreciated, and I adored this look because it was giving business, it was giving lawyer, it was giving power, and I just think it was the coolest thing. And then we switched to Mind Concepts, which I called the veil look. And basically it was just very femme fatale and I was also freezing, but I was really, really vibing because who doesn't want to just, you know, dramatically lay themselves against a building? This part was very Lana Del Rey ultraviolence. Um, I adored the whole veil look and this one had a lot of people just taking <laughs> random photos of me so whoever's camera roll I'm in I hope they enjoy the pics it was really funny um but yeah I adored this look it was so much fun and this cloth was only like 20 bucks from Joanne's so what a slay and then I also laid down on the steps, which I wouldn't really recommend because it's probably not that sanitary, but it was really fun. This is Caitlin oh, doing my little things. And then this is us running to, well, we were like, we were like fast walking to the next location. And this is Grand Central Station, which I adored for the Gossip Girl vibes. And we did a little trench coat um like train look which is really fun um unfortunately we couldn't sit on the stairs because they have a rule against that which I suppose makes sense for like safety reasons um but it was like a little bit more crowded of a shoot um but it was really fun I liked it a lot because the last time Caitlin and I were in New York City we tried shooting here and I think we just like knew that we could do it like a little bit better and I'm really excited for these photos okay so this last look was the most extra um we just found a crosswalk and then I was doing model things and Caitlin and I did this last time in the middle of Times Square which is a little bit scary because we ended up getting followed after this shoot um but in this case people were really nice um people did take a lot of videos which was really funny but I'm so excited about these because they were giving night looks and I have always adored that sort of aesthetic and then we ran really quickly to the train station unfortunately a man grabbed me um but Charlotte was really awesome and stepped in I've learned that when it comes to fight or flight, I am flight, but it's a little bit hard to do that when someone's, like, holding you, so yay! Thank you so much to Charlotte for protecting me. Appreciate you. Um, and then Hannah showed me the photos in her camera roll, and this is me just comparing all of our different aesthetics because I did not have time to change out of the dress, um, but we got pizza after, and this was, like, the night of the Super Bowl, and so I just looked so out of place, but it was really, really funny. Um, and yeah, we got pizza, we watched a movie, I think we watched, yeah, we watched Practical Magic, and I hadn't seen that all the way through before, so that was really exciting, and we just ate pizza and vibed, went through the photos, I'm really, really excited about these. Again, I just recently found my aesthetic, like, last year, and I am just living for being able to have the creative expression I've always wanted and adored. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. 
Everything Caitlin and Hannah does is literal art and Addie. I mean, everyone in this entire group. I have so much appreciation for these girlies. Um, everything people make is like such gold and it always blows my mind every single time. Like I know that whatever they're going to do is going to be amazing, but then I see it and I'm just blown away all over again. And this is the cutest dog you will ever see and ever meet in your entire life. This is Briar. She's so cute. I'm in love with her, but unfortunately she loves Charlotte more, but like whatever. Um, and I did Charlotte's hair and then we went back to Hannah's farm and we took some more photos and I was really excited about this because I basically never have photos with Caitlin, but in this case we were able to take photos together and I just love that because I've known Caitlin for so long and we've done so many things together and made so much art, but usually Caitlin's behind the camera and usually I'm in front. So it's really nice to have us both in front of the camera. I just love documenting memories. It's just like the coolest thing. And Caitlin wore stuff from my closet which I also love and adore because I love dressing up my friends I just think it's me sharing my closet is kind of like one of my love languages um also like giving people food and I just loved the light here it was so pretty I will take any opportunity to dress up in a pretty dress but that opportunity is so much better when you have freaking stunning sunlight streaming in through a window with dust fairies flying around oh my goodness this place is so gorgeous and I really want to come stay here when everything's all finished and I really want to bring my mom here because I just think that she would adore it and then this is the three of us modeling. Fun fact, Charlotte told me that my skin is very slappable and I wasn't really sure what to make of that, but now I have that fact in my head. So I've decided to share it with all of you. And I was just, mm, I was so excited about this. The really cool thing about Hannah is that Hannah's really technical whenever she does photos. And I love that because it makes me think about myself and how I model so much more. And I just love learning new things from people. And then this is us leaving, which I was just so sad about. The worst part about any girl's trip is when it ends because you just think about how long it's going to be until you see them next. And it's so sad. Um, This house was really cool. We got kind of lost because I'm not very good at giving directions. But it was like a crumbling down like castle that was like also a house it was definitely inhabited which i thought was really interesting then we stopped at trader joe's for snacks these are amazing i'm usually not good with spicy food but they were everything and i'm obsessed with them and i will be going back to get more and then we arrived at charlotte's i spent the night and then we got breakfast the next morning which was kind of cool because it was valentine's day and i don't think i've ever gotten like valentine's day breakfast before and i just adored that because i also had valentine's day plans afterwards and it was just such a unexpectedly really fun day because I thought I was going to drive back but I didn't and I was really glad that I didn't because I was tired and then this is my friend Caroline and we went to go pick up balloons for Valentine's Day and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this vlog I had so much fun making it and yeah bye